Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is the look that I'll be doing for you. We're going to pretend that the black dot is not on my eye. The gel liner did not dry all the way and I didn't want to erase this video. I wanted to go ahead and put it up there so we're just going to pretend it's not there. So if you want to get this look minus the black dot, then just keep on watching. I already did my brows off camera. Brows are my least favorite thing to do when it comes to makeup and I'm not that very good at it. I'm first going to prime my eyes with Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre using a Real Techniques Stone Brush. This is going to help with any discoloration that you have on your eyelids. I'll be setting it with the Smashbox Contour Palette using the lighter shade and I'm taking it with the Sigma Large Shader Brush. The eyeshadows that I'll be using is from Morphe Brushes, the 350 palette, and I'll be taking this shade as my transition shade and placing it right below my brow bone and just blend. The brush that I'm using is the Sigma Taper Blending E35. I always use this brush as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to use the Sigma Blending E25 and pick up the color that's right in the middle of the palette and place it just below the transition shade. Picking up this darker shade in the palette, I'm going to be using the Inglot 10S brush and place it on the outer V of my eyelid. I'm going back to the Sigma Blending E25 just to blend out that darker shade we just placed. Using the Sigma E56, I'll be picking up this really pretty glittery color in the palette and dabbing it on my eyelid. I went back to the Inglot brush and blended those two colors together. My eyelid shade wasn't shimmery enough, so I picked up the shadow again with that brush and spritzed it with Max Fix Plus and dabbed it right back onto the eyelids. I then went into Corrupt by Makeup Geek with the Inglot brush and just darkening that outer V. I was wanting it a little bit smokier. And using that black will add depth to the eyes. Picking up the E25 with no additional color and just making sure that there's no harsh lines between the colors. For my wing liner, I'll be using Inglot Gel Liner number 77, applying it with the Tarte Eyeliner Brush. But first, I always take a drop of Duraline, which is also by Inglot, into the cap of the gel liner. It just makes it easier to apply your eyeliner instead of, you know, if you were to use it. You know how sometimes with gel liners a little bit too thick and it kind of skips across your eyes. It just makes it a little bit smoother of an application, but I really love this stuff. If you have a problem applying gel liner and gel liner is your thing, that is the best thing to use. Next, I'll be taking Too Faced Bulletproof Shadow Liner in black and tight lining my top lid. For the face, I'm going to first prime it with Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. foundation I'll be using today is the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation and I'm in the color C3. I'll be taking the Morphe brush N439 and buffing it in. I first like to do a patting motion and to kind of spread out the foundation of where I want it on my face and then I go in and I start buffing it in. Next I'll be color correcting using the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the color Peach and I place this among my blemishes and under my eyes and I just take my middle finger and I just dab it all in. For concealer I'll be using MAC Select Cover Up in the color NC30. I put some on my finger first and then I gently dab it underneath my eyes. I also place some on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin just to even out the whole complexion. And then I'll be blending it all in with a damp beauty sponge. Mine is from Real Techniques.
And to set all that, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I just take my beauty sponge and just dab it into the product. I took the sifter out so I can place my whole beauty sponge inside of it and just put some under my eyes. Almost like a bacon method, but not really. And then next I'll be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the cream contour. This is my first time trying it. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh my god. And then I was like, oh my god, that's really pigmented. I hope I know what I'm doing. I really didn't, guys. So I placed the product on with the Sigma F77. And then to blend it out, I'm using the Sephora Pro Brush number 53. And just buff it out. I'm so used to contouring with powder, so it was really interesting using a cream product for once. It does look like as if the product is coming, like the, the contour is coming from within rather than the powder just sitting on your face. So, I mean, it kind of depends on how you feel. Next, I'll be bronzing my face with the Lorac Tantigo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I'm taking the Sigma Big Fluffy Brush, and I just swirled my brush in all four colors and just bronze my face with it. I just place some on my cheekbones, on the temples of my forehead, under the jawline, and onto the neck. Just sharpening up that contour line, I'm going to be taking that beauty blender and dipping it back into the translucent powder and just sharpen it up. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Golden and taking another um, big fluffy brush, this one's by Sigma, and just setting the rest of my face. I'm going back to that eyeliner that I used, the tight line, and putting it onto the bottom of my waterline. Then to smudge it out, I'm going to be using the Sigma E21. I'm going to take the brush and dip it into Corrupt and just smudge out that waterline and also set that liner as well. I'm picking up the gel liner by Inglot and just straightening up my wing liner and also connect it to the waterline. I'm coating my eyelashes with Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Honestly, I really don't put mascara on on a regular basis if I'm wearing eyelashes. It's because of the fact that I don't really have much lashes in the first place. But for the sake of the video, I went ahead and put some on. I was deciding between two colors and Becca Wild Honey won. And the other one I was trying to decide was that one was called Flower Child. And I'm applying it with the Morphe brush E4. And then I went back to my face brush, brush, went back to my face brush to marry it all in, making sure that it's well blended. The lashes that I'll be using are the iconic lashes by House of Lashes. I went ahead and put glue on them and then I set it to the side. So as it's sitting there and getting tackier, I can just go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm taking the Morphe brush in 501 into the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter. I'm highlighting the top of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the cupid's bow, and the areas above my brows. I'm then taking the Morphe brush E36 and with that same highlighter, I'm highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. The lashes are finally tacky enough to apply, so using my fingers, I'm applying it really close to my lash line. I'm picking up that gel liner again, making sure both of my wing liners are completely black and even. And for my lips, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Vamp. To finish off the look, I'm going to set my makeup with MAC Mineralized Charged Water and spritz it across my face. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at One Timeless Love. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!